Welcome back, one and all. It is I, Grave 4, with another episode of Fallout New Vegas. So, when last we left off, we'd helped Ringo with his powder ganger problem, and uh, got justly rewarded for it. Uh, with that all in hand, we then took uh, a small trip to meet uh, a gentleman by caravan who said that his dear beloved wife, or partner, or whatever, was being attacked by geckos up on a ridge. We went up and basically found that wasn't true. We killed the geckos. We found the loot of a prospector up there who unfortunately had died from said geckos. Uh, and then found that this little sod had decided to sneak up on us and go, Yeah, I came up here for all the loot. I'm just going to take care of you now. Which didn't work out well for him, let's just say that. Uh, we then found the Lone Wolf radio station. Uh, made our way further into Prim, or outside of Prim. We found out that Powder Gangers have taken over the town. Uh, and this is pretty much the last pocket of non-Powder Gangers in the town. Um, and the person we need to try and speak to to get more information on who the checker-suited little shit uh, was who shot us. Um, we need to find the deputy because unfortunately we found that the sheriff and his wife had died. Uh, so we need to head into... The Bison Steve Hotel to try and uh, rescue him. So we need to find out who shot the sheriff, but who did not kill the deputy. Ah, four of six, you say. What is that delivery order? There's mine. Contains one oversized poker chip composed of platinum. Contains one package, two, two, that is two, oversized dice of composed of a fuzzy material. Sweet. Alright, uh, there's some canny wreckage there we haven't been to, which uh, is actually what leads us into one of the DLCs. Uh, amusingly, is in fact the last DLC. It was really weird the fact they brought the last DLC so close. <clears throat> and repair once more. Switch the 9mm. And sneaky sneak our way inside. Quickly check. Nope. Nothing of interest. dead. Where are you? Grab a bomb rifle. Chuckles and Ralph, I'm in danger. Nope, don't care about that. Terminal easy. Terminally easy. Alright. Okay, so it's not going to be sending an ing. Disengage the lock. We will disengage the lock, because that's hard. Ooh, hello. Maintenance key. That'd be useful. I cannot do that yet. First aid box. Bobby pins, water. Yep, that's all useful. Oh, I say that. I'm one of those people that are really bad at actually using meds. 
Now that's not necessarily a bad thing. Because it all comes down to what the meds do. Because there'll be some meds which uh, unfortunately do... I'll take your pistol, thank you. And that, and those. Right. Ah, there we go, a fully repaired 9mm pistol. But yeah, because of the uh, negative effects you can generally get from some of these, especially if you use them too often. Oh, pre war money. Yoink doesn't actually have as much use as you might think. Tales of a Jerky Town Junkie. Junk Town Jerky Vendor. There we go. Uh, that is also hard in terms of difficulty. Take you. May have to come back here later then. So let me find that aid one now. Tales of a Junkie Town. Of, of a Junkie Town. Of a Junk Town Jerky Vendor. And now my barter has increased by three. We have a lift. Does it work? Uh, it would if I'd had repair of 35 or higher. I might come back to that in a bit. Oh yeah, yeah, I forgot I killed you. These, take the dynamite, take the fixer, and the barman rifle. <coughs> Back to my weapons and repair those. Another 20% condition improvement. For the maintenance corridor. Uh, pop one of those. Don't want to give away my position too soon. But that being said. with a flamethrower. Whew, there we go. An incinerator. Ooh. Which he's... I would say he's used the fuel on, but he hasn't used it all. Cool. So... Uh, lockpick, so I'm going to get 14 points this time round, but getting to average lockpicks would be useful. Hmm. What do I want to do? We'll work my way up. It's not going to be dire straits just yet. Another five there. And um, I'll put them there. All right. Next thing, educated. With the educated perk, you gain two more skill points every time you advance in level. That is useful. Best taken early on to maximise effectiveness, which I will do. And there we go. There's the next one. Comprehension. With the comprehension perk, you gain double the bonus from reading magazines and one additional point from skill books, which is annoying because I wish I hadn't read those other two books I found now. Never mind, I'll take educated for now. 
Ooh, cat eye. Gives me low light vision. And I have enough dynamite to sink a ship. No, I didn't want to pickpocket you. I don't suppose you came here to rescue me. I'd cross my fingers, but my hands are numb. You must be Deputy Beagle. Why, yes, I am. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm in a bit of a predicament here. I'd be most appreciative if you'd set me free. Okay, here we got information on some cars that came through here with a guy with a checkered suit. Indeed I do, good sir. And I would be thrilled to share that information with you as soon as I am released from captivity. You can tell me or you can write in here. Well, you look to be a trustworthy sort. Okay, I'll tell you what I know. I overheard them saying that they're on their way to Novak. If you want to follow them, I strongly suggest that you follow the road through Nipton. There are a lot of dangerous things out in the desert. You won't have me with you to protect you, as I need to stay here and keep Prim safe. Which is fair. It would be <coughs> so very delightful if you set me free. Uh, how would you end up being a hostage? I must say it's been the low point of my career in law enforcement. The powder gangers stole into town at night and murdered my sister and her husband, the sheriff, in bed while I was sleeping in the office. I watched them for a bit, waiting for the right moment to pounce and arrest a lot of them, taking careful notes as I watched. To my dismay, they found me while I waited in the shadows and brought me here. Uh, I'll set you free oh, for now. That's just marvelous. I think I'll be making my way outside now. The air is a little close in here. See, I would have you fight with me, but... Uh... Yeah, get out. Then I'll defer to your superior appraisal of character and prowess in contests of arms. See you outside. You look like the sort of person who's been hit one too many times with a book. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Where'd your gun go? Oh. Right, so that's everyone on this floor. Anything of note? Oh, I can use activate the campfire, which I don't have anything to use, so we'll ignore that for now. And oh, vending machine. I'll take those. Oh, uh, good question on that. I will pop another one of those. Vending machine, we have Mentats, and some gum. Uh, no. You're empty. And you're to the next floor of this hotel. <clears throat> Sneak attack. Oop, I appear to be a little laden down with my uh, my wares. Uh, I will exit. Repair my varmint rifle. Down and because that's now full, I'll repair another one. And admittedly, I don't really need that one. I could hopefully use it to repair my weathered one. Uh, would do if I actually press the right button. There we go. This way.
see what's around here. Hmm. Bottle in the toilet. Ooh, sexy sleepwear. You sneaky son of a bitch. Where the hell did you come? Oh, you came from there. I knew that was a bad idea. Who's there? Want to sneak on down here and come and say hello? Guess not. What do you have on you? Yeah, another varmint rifle. Heads I'm taking off for this is ridiculous. Ooh, another over here. No. Oh, there's gonna be the third floor above me. You take the Hydra, stem pack out of armor rifle. And repair you. And drop that one. and take care of these guys first because the last thing I want is them sneaking up behind me again death kill anything. Uh, right. And again, yep, they've come from upstairs. And I can't really go up that way, that's gonna... Gonna have to go up this way. Take that thing, much. Can I get in here? I can. Is it worth it? Uh, I'd say so.
Fans of their cigarettes. You sneaky son of a... Yeah, I'd like it better if he didn't shoot me. Ah, a worn key. Uh, I don't weigh that much. I'll take those. I'll ignore the dog meat. Able learn still needs repair to go down, that's fine. <clears throat> Alright. So that's everybody. At least so far in here. So let's get back up to your room. Is there anything actually in here? Ah. Ooh, hello. Uh, take the camera shot. I'll take everything. That the caravan shotgun is going to be useless to me. The nine mil I can repair. I need to sell that dynamite. That's actually got a fair amount of value to that. That's good to know. Right, so any other doors up here? Take myself some sarsaparilla. You're empty. You're empty. Nope, looks like it's just downstairs. Cigarettes. No reading material. That's the desk. Bottle caps, I'll take those. Empty dresser. A non empty dresser. Cool, right. I think we're done in here. <clears throat> but I do believe there'll be a door somewhere around here that I have. Well, a couple of doors I haven't looked into. Oh, hello. Ransom note. Mr. Peterson, uh, if you want to see your wife alive again, bring the cash and small unmarked bill to the Bison Steve on Tuesday. Hmm. I wonder when this was actually made. Gun cabinet. Thank you. Oh, they're saying that laser pistol I don't need. Seeing as I already have one that's at full capacity, it's just the cells that I need. Further down this way we have a locked room and a very easy door. Where I didn't even have to touch a thing. Suitcase, pre-war money, a couple of bits of jet. A uh, lady who unfortunately is deceased. Oh. Whoa. Jumping skeletons. I'll take these for uh, safekeeping. You won't need these. Oh, there's some more. No, no, I want the other psycho. There we go. So, so yeah, it looks like a couple of junkies would use this room. If not junkies, then uh, with that unfortunate switchblade on the ground, that gives other connotations. So I'm wondering if they uh, had unfortunately mostly survived the uh, the apocalypse, but didn't stand, didn't want to carry on. Ooh, there's one guy over there. Let's 
see. Hold still. Damn it. anymore. Uh, yeah, just got a vomit rifle. I'll just take that. Don't need any more of those. God, how high can I go up on this? <clears throat> Trying to climb a roller coaster. Well, those I really hope this didn't go on during the night, because my god, the noise. Nobody that I can immediately see. Although I say that, I have something that might help with that. A pair of binoculars. Anybody else on here? Doesn't look to be. That ended over here. Cool, so then nobody on the back side of this, I will just head on down and around. <laughs> just seeing the condition of this is perfect, and the ammo capacity of this is nothing of nothing. I have no ammo for my binoculars. So, does my quest actually need me to kill all these guys? Uh, my kind of town. Beagle has been rescued. Talked to him about protecting the town. Okay, that's fine. Switch back to a more suitable weapon. Yeah, we'll try the laser pistol. Yeah, no one up here for that. Nope. Cool. How about here? Ah, we had somebody. Psycho Jet. Ah, oh, take the vodka. And some more binoculars. Oh, cool. So you can actually get a pair of these in-game. I thought this was just a DLC thing. Uh, apparently that... that uh... Should hopefully do. Cool. Right. Nobody else? Nope. Fantastic. Right. Uh, my... Yeah, I made that the main quest. Cool, so that's that done. I will see if I can try and sell some of these extra weapons I've got, because there's a lot in here that I'm not going to use. Howdy. Well, that was quite an adventure. We taught those convicts a thing or two, didn't we? We? Breaking myself we? out of a hostage situation. Not to diminish your role in it, of course, but it was quite thrilling. Problem is, there's still no law in Prim. What are we to do the next time ruffians menace us and hold us hostage? <laughs> what about... You, you, your deputy, you're now the sheriff. Oh, no. I'm just a deputy, and I can't be a deputy without a sheriff. It's called chain of command. <sighs> I, I... Okay, what are the qualifications? It should be someone brave like you, but more of a homebody. Someone who'll settle down and watch over us. I heard the powder gangers talking about someone in the prison named Myers who has some experience as a sheriff. He may be a good choice. Also, with the NCR so close by... You may be able to get them to take over the town. Not sure why they haven't helped out already. 
Okay, I'll do what I can to, to help with this. You will. That's just marvelous. I'll start thinking up questions for the interview. The sheriff that was incarcerated up at NCRCF may be a good choice. You also may be able to convince that NCR guy across the road to take the town under his wing. Although martial law doesn't sound so fun. It may not sound fun, but at least it's safe. Move along, please. Uh, is there somebody I can talk to who I can sell stuff to? Ruby! Hello there. What brings you to Prim? Uh, who are you? I'm Ruby Nash. Pleased to make your acquaintance. My husband and I are prim long-timers. He fancies himself a traitor, and I know my way around the kitchen. What do you cook? My specialty is a rad scorpion venom casserole. It's more appetizing than it sounds. It better be. The venom <clears throat> has a sharp, smoky flavor. And it numbs your mouth so fierce you'll forget you ever had a tongue. It's perfectly safe. Long as you don't have sores in your mouth for the venom to find your blood. Cause that'll kill you dead. Um uh, I'd like some of this rat venom casserole, maybe. It does sound good, <clears throat> don't it? How many red scorpion glands you got? Uh I have one. One's enough to make a helping. Hand it over. Cheers, Ruby. See you. Uh, it doesn't look as though anybody else here might be willing to sell anything. I've already talked to you. You're just prim residence. Likewise. Okay, fair enough. So it doesn't look as though there's anybody I can sell anything to here. And uh, if I were to try, it would likely uh, people would be upset with me. All right, let's have a little look around. Seeing as nobody's going to be hopefully in these buildings. Ah, the Nash residence. Ah, yes, because it's the. Uh... Hello. Advanced model robot with a reinforced frame as well. Weathered and appears to have been uh, seen a good bit of action. There's very little way serious damage. Repair. Repair 65 or higher. Okay. Electronics. Size 55. Okay, so, uh, what is my science currently? My science is 40. I am so close. Uh, do I actually have any books that help with science? That's medicine. Programmer's Digest. That's a science of 10. Uh, but it was 55 I needed, wasn't it? Yeah, I don't have 55. That would only bring up 250. I'll have to leave it alone for now. Not to worry. We'll come back for that later, then. When I next level up, I'll try and remember to put some points into science. But let's have a little chat with Hayes and see what he suggests in, uh, in terms of trying to get this place under NCR control. Because uh, while it might be okay to try and grab a guy from the correctional facility, he he'll have been in there for a reason, and uh, I'm not liking the idea of that. What is it, sir? I mean, you, you guys not noticing the the firefight that was going on out there? Yes, not. Yo, Hayes. Yeah. Uh, Prim's in dire need of some real law. We know Prim is a great strategic point, and we aren't blind to the needs of the town, but we're barely holding our own against the Powder Gangers. We don't have the guns or the personnel needed to carry out our mission, much less take on defending this town as well. What do you need? What we need more than anything is bodies. If we had just one more squad, we could easily install a sheriff and still handle our primary objective of protecting the interstate south of here. If you'd like to see the NCR include protection of Prim and its duties, then you'll have to get some more troops up here. Knight at Mojave Outpost may be able to help. Okay. Let's see Sir. if we can do that. <clears throat> Hello there. It's good to see a friendly face. I almost took you for a raider I did. Name's Malcolm. 
Malcolm Holmes. Hi there, Malcolm. Don't suppose you'd care to trade. I'm missing a few essentials and ah, oh, screw this. Lying just ain't in my nature. Good. I'll tell it to you straight. I've been following you for a good bit now. Why? It started off innocently enough. I was traveling, as I often do, and happened to observe you picking up one of those blue star caps. You didn't show any reaction to it, so I figured you didn't know what you'd gotten your hands on. What's so special? There's an old wasteland legend that says somewhere out there is a fabulous treasure from before the war. Those caps with the blue star on them, the tale goes, are the key to that treasure. They're called Sunset Sarsaparilla Stars. Okay, where can I find more of them? All over the place. The easiest place to find them is unopened bottles of Sunset Sarsaparilla. You'd think they'd all have been picked clean by now, but somehow, new bottles keep appearing in the machines. Some say it's old Festus that does it, hoping someone will finally collect enough caps to earn the treasure. Other than bottles, you'll just have to scavenge. You can find caps in the unlikeliest of places, and Blue Star caps are no exception. You mentioned the guy killed Festus. Who's that? It's said that the treasure is guarded by a man named Festus, and he's the one who asked for the Blue Star caps. It's also said he's been around since the war, standing a lonely vigil, waiting for someone to come and take the treasure off his hands. That'll make him pretty damn old, but I've met a few people in my travels who claim they actually met him, and they weren't the lying type either. Okay. So you collecting these two? Nah, I gave it up years ago. Too dangerous. And even if I did still collect them, I'd tell you the same. There's people out there so mad with the idea of treasure, that they'll attack strangers just on the suspicion that they have some of those caps. Okay, what kind of treasure are we actually talking about here? No one knows. Money, weapons, water. It is, or maybe was, something of value. And that's enough to get people motivated. Well, thanks for the info. I'll head on now. No problem. If you do end up trying to collect more stars, watch out for a man named Alan Marks. He's killed several people for their stars already. I guess if I found this Alan Marks, I could try and get all the stars off of him. Well, at this point, this seems like a good point to stop. Now that we've been warned of uh, Alan Marks, where the hell am I going to have the... Is it misc in here? Oh, there we go. Yeah, we have one. Sunset Hasperilla Star Bottle Cap. Interesting. Uh, cool. Fair enough. I, I will... Keep my eyes out for more. I'll see what this treasure's all about. Um, but yeah, we'll uh, head on over to the Mojave Outpost. Uh, where is that going to be? My kind of town. What map? So we have either the NCR Correctional Facility, which they are likely to shoot me at, or the Mojave Outpost, which they are very unlikely to shoot me at. We wish to look for our next Sheriff for Prim. I am... Uh, looking more towards this one, mostly because, yeah, I don't want to get shot at. So, but yeah, we'll, we'll do that in our next episode. So, as always, thank you for joining me on this adventure. Please like, share, subscribe, and all that funky jazz. And I'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.